guys, it's Shelly here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. So I have a lot to show you guys. Um, usually I only do a, a haul twice a year, so every six months. But I have realized that this month I have already accumulated a uh, number of books I would probably accumulate in six months. So um, and what's that? In four months, basically. I blame it on book depository completely. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just thought I would come on here and share things with you guys because it is quite a lot. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll get much within the next two months. So I might not do another haul until the end of the year. We'll see. But I thought, um, yeah, I have enough to show you guys. So I may as well come on and do it now rather than keep collecting for the next two months. I don't, I haven't bought anything since I did my book depository haul. Um, but, um, yeah, and I, I, I'm trying not to buy anything. So hopefully May and June, I will not get anything because I have more than I usually get in this time frame, and I like to spread it out. As you guys know, I do like to spread it out, but unfortunately, um, yeah, Book Depository made me do it. But anyways, we'll get started. I'll show you the few supplies I have. I, as you guys know, I don't get that many supplies, but I do have some interesting supplies to show you, or at least one interesting supply to show you. And um, yeah, so I'll start with the supplies, and then I'll go on to all the books. All right, so um, just... I usually make a note of everything I buy, which is for supplies. You can see it's not that much, um, but so it won't take me too long. But the first thing um, I wanted to show you, and you guys probably already might might know, I don't know, but I just got it in January, is my Thule Art paint pens. Um, I got just one set um, so, uh, this, so far this year, and that's the reds and pinks. So I think it starts from here I've already I got rid of the box but yeah it starts from here so these are the reds and pinks set um and ooh, you can't even see that there we go yeah so reds and pinks and the others I got last year so I think I have four sets now is it I have the earth and skin tone the pastel those are my two favorite for what I use them for in coloring books and then I have the yellows and browns and now I have the reds and pinks so yeah that's the first supply i got this year so far so basically this haul is from january to april because i haven't bought anything in may yet may has just started but yeah so january to april all right so that was my first supply then i have got another set of mini distressings um i still think i have a couple more sets to um to get so this is kit four um so twisted citron hickory smoke blueprint sketch and ground espresso so that's the set i got so just the one and i think i'm i need kit one and i can't remember the other one i need but i think there's only two more now and then i'll have the full set until they get some um some new ones out um the other supply is this one here so again it looks like it is i just bought this randomly because from um the works in the uk i was buying a few things for my son some books and things like that and i just needed to make up a, a, a few more pounds to um get free shipping and um or free delivery and so i decided to try this out um so it's just very random it's a spectrum noir i think it's in ink i'm assuming it's or a pigment i don't know it's i'm assuming it would be like distressing i haven't even opened it yet and it's in rose gold and it says metallic pigment for stamping blending and embossing so hopefully it will be nice i'm going to need to try it out but i just got that one and i haven't bothered to empty this but the other supply i got is a new sharpener and it's an electric sharpener to speed things up for me because as it is i'm a slow colorist and Seriously, the number of pencils I use for like coloring one element on a page, it takes me ages to sharpen everything and get started on a page. So, um, yeah, so I got the 10, 10 win um, sharpener It's for six to 12 millimeters. So it works with my Albrecht Dura pencils, which are a bit wider than a lot of other color pencils. Um, but yeah, it works really well for me. Obviously, um, it doesn't get to the lowest like... Um, 
the thing with the I'm, I'm not sure if it's with all electric sharpeners but with the with this one at least if I take a pencil and I show you I can sharp I can use the electric sharpener till I've got the mark I think it's still about here on my pencil so once the pencil is this length which is still a lot of pencil then I can't use the electric sharpener anymore so then I turn to my normal dial 133 for a little bit more and then once that shortens a bit more then I just use a normal comb manual um, sharpener until I get it to that point there <laughs> um, but yeah at least this is helping me till that point in the pencil it does speed up the process and it gets a really good point as well um so far so yeah i'm enjoying that i sorry i didn't bother to empty it but it collects a lot of shavings of pencil shavings as well so you don't have to keep emptying it out the only thing is yes it is an electric sharpener it, um rather than battery operated so it is plugged in so you need to be able to have it a plug close by so that you can um plug it and keep it on your desk and then i think is that the last no, then the the big supply. All right, so this is the last big supply. And this happened. Karen Dash Pablo's. Now, this was a gift, so I didn't buy this. Um, this was gifted to me uh, very generously, very lovingly by my husband. And um, yeah, he just said, well, you've had the same pencils for so long. I thought you can try something else out. And um, this is what I had on my wish list because I'd been thinking about it for a while, but I wasn't ready to jump in. As you guys know, I just love my Arbitro pencils. I don't need um, other pencils. But yeah, he got this for me and I'm happy. So um, and very grateful that he did because I don't think I would ever take the plunge um, You guys know how much I enjoy my Albrecht Duras. I wouldn't have taken the plunge even if it's on my wish list. I, it would probably be there forever um, So yeah, he got me these and they're beautiful and um, he, Yeah, the reason he got this is because this is the only pencils that are on my wish list I don't yeah, I don't buy lots of different brands of pencils as you guys know um so this is the only one i had toying i was at currently toying with um and i love the shape obviously because they mimic the albrecht jurors and they do have colors that um that are not there in the albrecht jurors or the polychromos um so i really like it i am starting to try them out i will do a review on the channel once i've used them a couple of times because i i want to i want to learn them i want to figure them out um before i can tell you what i think about them so obviously you can see this color here i don't have that in the albrecht jurors um it's a beautiful very pale blue what is it called bluish pale and um yeah i've used it a fair amount already um but yeah i think i'll do a review uh once i'm uh, a bit more familiar with them so i am working on that um and hopefully i'll bring it to you soon now with regards to these pencils, they're not watercolour pencils. These are normal, regular pencils. Um, I think, although I am liking them so far, they're soft, they're lovely. As you guys know, I think the Arbrecht Duras are softer than the Polychroma. So I was already enjoying my Arbrecht Duras, but these are a bit softer than the Arbrecht Duras as well. So they're really nice. But yeah, different colouring style, I feel, a little bit. You still need to layer, which is what I tend to do. So it works for me. Um, so you still need to do layered colouring, but... They are really nice. Um, and yeah, I think I'll still carry on. When I do colour alongs and stuff like that on the channel, I'm more than likely just going to be using my Albrecht Dura pencils unless, you know, you guys request these pencils. But I don't know them well enough. I I just enjoy the process with my Albrecht Duras. So um, I will probably use these pencils in my own colouring time Um when I'm not filming, for example, so don't worry, I will be continuing with my Albrecht Dura pencils on this channel. Um, but yeah, if and when you guys do want in, me to see see me color a page with this, eventually I can do. But so I'm open to it. But I think mostly you'll still see my Albrecht Dura on the pens on the uh, on this channel. That's what my channel's about. But yeah, I am happy to have a different set of pencils to play around with and just try and test and. See if I'm missing missing out on anything out there in the world, um, in the colouring world. Um, because as you guys know, I've got my Albrecht Duras. I've tested polychromos, just stock pencils, like three three pencils to see what I felt about them. And I, I liked them, but I didn't need them um, because I had the Albrecht Dura pencils. Um, 
and then I've tried the Castle Arts, not the gold version, just the normal 120 and I'm not too keen, I wasn't too keen on that. That one I got for free as a giveaway, um, I won a giveaway from Castle Arts themselves so I tried them out because of that and the only other pencils I've ever bought is the Black Widows and I don't have all of them, um, I think it's the new set I still don't have, that's the Dragon set. I probably will consider getting it to see if I think they're darker colours in that or more reds or something like that, isn't it? Um, I haven't even looked into it, but I might end up getting that just um, to see if it helps me use the Black Widows a little bit more and just use them up. Um, but yeah, again, my Black Widows compared to my Albrecht Jurors, I prefer my Albrecht Jurors. So this is the first set I've got since I tried those couple, like back, what, three, two, three years ago in 2020? Yeah. So not three, two and a half years ago, um, I've just stuck to my Albrecht Jurors. I was like, nothing is coming close to them. But yeah, there we go. So these ones I'll probably use, more than likely not on the channel. But um, I, I won't close myself off to that in case anyone has a request for them. All right, and that was the last supply. And then I just wanted to show you the one book I got that's not colouring related. And that is the new botanical painting by Harriet De, De Winton. Um, as you guys know, in my last haul, so um, my July 2022 to December 2022 haul, I um, got some watercolour paints, um, the Paul Rubens, and I don't know how to do watercolour painting, and I thought I'd get something that would help. And the reason I got botanicals is because I don't want to do painting, I don't think I want to do painting to create any artwork like paint artwork I, if I consider doing painting I want to learn um, how to paint to be able to add to my coloring pages so I thought getting a botanical book where it might teach me um, how to do like flower, leaves for example additional leaves and things like that that I could add to my coloring pages to fill out the page you know um, certain flowers I might be able to add to certain pages um, you know, so if I could learn how to do a few leaves um, in certain pages where there's, I need, I want to um, just fill out the space a little bit more without having to do too much background. Maybe in those kind of, um, it, you know, situations, I might be able to use um, some of these ideas if I start learning how to do it. Um, so that's why I got a botanical one, because I thought it would help me to just play around and possibly add it to my um my coloring pages I, I i don't want to go into painting with regards to creating scenes and landscapes and things like that at least not yet that my interest doesn't lie there but look at how simple that is and if you had a page that was quite a simple page like a maria trolley which is a one of her simpler pages where you want to just add a bit more detail your own detail i thought it, if i could learn how to do something like that that would really help um to just put my own little touch to it. So yeah, that's why I got this book and hopefully I'll, I'll give myself a little bit of time to start learning from it. I haven't yet, um, but yeah, it is pretty. Um, and I thought that maybe I'd also be able to use some of these techniques with my um, watercolor pencils. So my Albrecht Dura pencils, because yeah, they're watercolor pencils, so why not? So it doesn't have to be the paints. I can even use some of these um, techniques with my pencils um so yeah i thought this would be a good idea um so yeah i got that book which is not a coloring book but i haven't yet started to sit down and sort of try things out yet but that's new botanical painting by harriet de winton all right now i will go to the books because everything else is um books yeah Okay, so for the books, I'll start with some Happy Mail first, um, and then I'll go on to show the other books. So I have a few books from Amazon UK, um, and then I have a few from Amazon Japan, and then a few from Book Depository. Um, so yeah, and that's the reason why I have so many books already this month, is because um, I'll get to it when I when I get to it. But first, let me show you the happy mail from a very, very generous subscriber. I've already said thank you to her all the way from America. Um, from the bottom of my heart, again, thank you. Whenever I look at these books, it just fills me with so much joy. And 
I'm really, really touched that you'd sent these to me. Um, but I have three books that she sent me and books that I thought I would never have in my collection. And they're absolutely stunning books. Um, and I just need to sit down now, get some time um, to be able to start uh, working in them. But the first one she sent me is um, Jane F. Hankins, The Imaginary Forest. And I have done a flip through on the channel um, of this book. So you can always have a look. If I remember, I'll try and put the link in the description box below. But it's a beautiful book. Um, amazing quality paper. Amazing size. It's quite big. Um, and the style of illustrations is just so fun and funny and it's so unique. I, I really do like it. Um, so yeah, I, I had picked out this page. I, I remember looking at this page and wanting to do this page first, but um, we'll see when I get around to it. Hopefully I can get around to doing one soon, but it's absolutely stunning. And yeah, I can't thank you enough for sending this. So if you are watching, I know I've already thanked you a few times, but yeah, thank you again, because every time I look at these books, I'm just... I just feel so blessed that I have it in my collection now because I did, I had admired these books um, for a while. Um, but yeah, I never thought to try and get a hold of them. Um, so thank you. So that was Jane of Hankins, The Imaginary Forest. I'm not doing a full flip through um, because it is up on the channel already. And the next one she sent me was Jane, Jane of Hankins, Friends from My Imaginary World. Again, absolutely stunning. And so cute and hilarious. Um, so yeah, just showing you a few pages. Again, amazing quality books. And I think there was a sale um, on Jane of Hankins website. It's been there for a while. Oh, mermaid. Didn't realize there were mermaids in this paper, in this book. Hmm, maybe I'll just, <laughs> if I get a chance. Um, yeah, so that was Friends from My Imaginary World by Jane of Hankins. So yeah, there is a sale on her website. Um, I don't know what books are still available, which ones are not, but you can always check it out. Um, yeah, so it says here, professional grade paper, suitable for framing. I think they were perforated. Yeah, they perforated. And you get 30 pages and it's 9 by 12 inch um, size. Okay. And the reason I'm telling you that is because the next book she got me is absolutely massive and, again, gorgeous. But this one is not even going to fit. Um, I'll try and see. But it's The Imaginary World, again, by Jane F. Hankins. And, um, again, stunning book. And it's humongous. Um, <laughs> makes me laugh. I'll just do it sideways. But, no, I don't have a flip through of this one on the channel, so I can flip through it really quickly for you guys. Um, really, really beautiful, again, illustrations, and it's so massive. Um, you can do lots of work on this, play around on this paper. It's just stunning. Um, she has such a unique style, Jane F. Hankins. Um, <laughs> and she looks like she has a good sense of humour. Funny how she puts faces on everything, flowers. The flowers, the trees have faces, like in the other books. It's so cute. Oh, another mermaid. Oh, that's nice. I'm a bit nervous to get started in these books because of the amazing quality. And it's a different art style for me. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So um, I'm always nervous when it's, some, it's a new artist, especially because I've not never colored their style. Um, like a lot of us are. I am excited to color in it, but I want to give it, you know, um, justice. And I want to give myself time to do it. I don't want to rush through anything just to get it done. Um, probably going to flip through them a few more times before I choose my very first page. Um, it's falling off the desk. That's 
how big it is. My desk is small. Oh, that's nice. Love mushrooms. Like a lot of us. Coloring mushrooms. There we go. All right. So that was Jane of Hankins. Three books from, um, from the lovely subscriber. You know who you are. And if you are watching, thank you from the bottom of my heart again. All right. Um, so, yeah. Next. Uh, let's do Amazon UK next. Okay, I just realized I have Amazon UK and I think one from Coloring Heaven. Um, so I'll just show them all together. Um, some of them you might have already seen, even me color them, because obviously I've had some of them since January. And some of them, maybe a couple I might have done a flip through. Um, but yeah, the first book I have is Animal de la Forêt. Forêt? Not Forêt. Forêt? <laughs> um, forest Animals, maybe? Um, it's by Art Therapy. And I'd seen this on a few channels, um, flip throughs of it on a few channels. I think it came out this year. And so, yeah, so I'd seen it on a few channels and I really liked the illustrations. Um, I'm not going to do a flip through again. It's a very big book. Uh, well, a very thick book. It's a very small book. Um, if I showed you, uh, what should I show you? Um, yeah, I can show you this book. So this is what the standard sort of square sized books like Mythographics and uh, maybe I don't actually know. I was going to say Johanna Basford, but I don't have a Johanna Basford book, so I can't um, say. But definitely like the Mythographic size. Yeah, Enchanted Earth, um, Kirby Roseanne size as well. Um, so this is what the size of the book is. Tiny. I did not expect that. Um, so, yeah, when it came, I was like, seriously, what did I just order? But um yeah i had looked at the pictures and when i looked at the pictures on the flip throughs i did really like them but then when i saw it in person i was not as keen i don't know why but when the flip throughs were done i thought they looked beautiful um but there are some pages i i think i really like like i would love to color that page for example um you know for me these small small flowers are, I, I'm not a huge fan of colouring such small flowers and stuff, which is probably why I've never owned a Johanna Bastard because her artwork is beautiful, but I know her flowers and her details are quite tiny and I like to do shading, I like to do lots of layers and things like that and so I like bigger areas, I think, to colour, I've noticed. So when I saw some of these pages with such small flowers and stuff, I was like, I'm not so sure what I feel about it but like some of them are really nice like that page is really cute I like that one you know I'm not going to do a full flip through I like those kind of cute little scenes sorry I'm holding it up because it's so small um but like I'm not keen on those kind of wallpaper pages that look at those flowers those are too tiny for me but I guess I can just use glitter gel pens or something and then some of them, like that one is really cute. That's a nice one. You know, so there are pages that I really do like. Um, so like that's a nice one. That one's cute. So there are pages I like. So I did keep the book um, because I know I will color in it, even if I decide to color in it as mindless coloring. So um, just for myself. Um, yeah. So there are some really nice pages, I would say. Like, look, that's a nice scene. So I like... You probably got you guys probably realized when I when I color on the channel that I do like pages with scenes and things like that more than just you know standalone you know just a portrait all the time or just random flowers with no with no scene to it. Um, but yeah, look at these two pages I really like. So yeah, they are pages that I really do like. Um, so I will color in this book. Um, so that's Animal de la Forêt by Art Therapy. Really small book. <laughs> Cute though. Um, then you guys will have already seen this one. This is Leila Dooley's The Flower Year. I don't need to do a flip through. It's a very old book now. I don't even know when it came out, but I just got it this year, uh, 2017. <laughs> um, so as you guys know, I do buy my books very slowly. I take my time. Um, I don't rush into getting things and then yes I do miss out so that is a issue sometimes but um, yeah my intention for this book I got it in January and my intention was to color in it every month hopefully but I haven't I've done January and that's it so I keep marking every month 
So I've marked May now. Um, not sure if I'll end up doing it because I, I color way too slow, guys. I color way too slow. So I can't do, I can't basically, I, I realize I can't allocate a single book to, for me to color every single month. I don't have that kind of time and I want to color in all my books. So if I'm only getting seven pages done a month, if I keep coloring, allocating one page from one book, um, it just leaves me six other books to color in. So um, I think, yeah, that's the reason I haven't done the other pages yet. But it's a nice book, very pretty. And I think her new book is out now, isn't it? Is it called Beautiful Planet? So I haven't got that one yet. Um, no surprise. Um, it'll probably be a while before I get it. Um, because I've only done one page in this book. It's a bit silly if I go and get her other book and I'm not even managing to color um, in this book, even though she has pages where it's, which are so simple and you can just do one tiny flower. Um, so yeah, so I haven't got her new book yet, but it does look beautiful. Um, so that one I think is called Beautiful Planet. But yeah, so this one is Layla Dooley, The Flower Year. The next book I got <laughs> was Michael O'Brien's Matchstick Mass. And you guys will have seen that I have done a couple of pages in this book. So you would have seen it in my completed pages. Um, I can't remember which ones, but everyone has these books and they are very cute books. And I thought I'd try it out. I usually don't go for um amazon paper all the time um but i thought i'd try it out it is very cute i got the floral one because i like coloring flowers and i thought i'd be able to color it all year i didn't want to get any of the um specific season ones yet um so i did this page in february that's probably when i got it so february um for winter going into spring so yeah it is a cute book I won't do a flip through again. If, if you guys want flip throughs of any of the books, let me know. But I'm sure you guys will have seen pretty much most of the books um, already up um, on YouTube. Uh, because like I said, I take I did that one for Mother's Day, for um, Mother's Day here in the UK. Um, and yeah, and I've started one now. That one. Just done some soft pastels. I found the soft pastels work really well here. They come quite come out quite vibrant. Maybe because of the paper, I don't know. But yeah, it has turned out quite vibrant. Um, so yeah, there we go. My Morgan O'Brien's Matchstick Mouse, the floral coloring book. All right. Then the next one, you guys will have seen lots of flip throughs um, on YouTube already about this book. This is Paul Bruins, Animaux de Bois, and. Um, You'll, you'll have seen this book on my channel when I was doing my options or uh, choices for spring pages. And I had picked up this as this as one of the books I want to color this spring season. I have this month left to color it. Um, so I haven't yet, but it is a stunning book. I know after watching a f uh, quite a few flip throughs, I've realized a lot of people don't like these you know how the plants come out of the animals and stuff yeah i don't think i'm too keen on that either but um at least it's not too many well actually in this book it is i think in the other book it's not too many um yeah i think every every animal has something coming out of them in this book yep but um it's still a stunning book the artwork is just amazing the flowers the the, the foliage the animals and um, the paper is really, really good. Um, yeah, I just need to colour in it. But there we go. All right, so that's Paul Brune's Animal de Bois. And then another Paul Brune book, which I think I do have a flip through of this one on the channel. It's called Amazon. Um, something to do with Along the River or something like that. But basically subscriber told me what it translated to um i can't remember um yeah something like maybe wildlife along the river or something like that but uh yeah again beautiful so there are a few quite different there's a few um water themed pages so you get fish and stuff like that different animals in it different plants in it that um are not always seen in all, all books um so it is really pretty 
really nice book. I really liked this page. Don't know if I'll be able to cover up these areas. If I need to, maybe I don't need to. But yeah, stunning, stunning book. But I've done a flip through. So you guys, uh, if I remember again, I'll put a link in the description box below. I don't do a lot of flip throughs on the channel because like I said, I always get the books a bit late and there are already tons of flip throughs on, on YouTube. This one, again, I have got a flip through off on the channel because I got this as a pre-release uh, copy um, from the publishers, Loam, Loam Art. And as you guys know, I absolutely love Mel Pomeni's artwork. And um, yeah, this one is Enchanted Earth, her newest one. And I really do hope she keeps coming out with new books. Um, this is, I really like this page and it keeps calling to me, but I haven't yet had a chance to do it. Um, but yeah. I have got a buddy colour set up for this book for June. Yeah, for this page we've chosen uh, with Lisa Cotter Designs here on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, so we chose that we're going to do this page and I had to do it. <laughs> um, she messaged me last month and I had to say, sorry, I'm so slow in colouring and things have been a bit slow for me. So I may have to do it um, for June time if that was OK. And she was she was OK with that. Um, yeah, not fast enough. So I was like, I, I don't think I'll, I, I'm definitely going to disappoint if I say I'll do it for May and then I won't get it done. So for June, I have enough time to get started and get it done for June. <laughs> But yeah, beautiful page. So I gave her a few options and then uh, she chose this one. And I think I like this page too from the ones that I would, I'd, I'd given her as an option. Um, so yeah, and I've only done the one page. This is the um, cover page, but I did my own colours. Um, I really liked doing this. You guys have already seen this um, page. Yeah, all right. Again, I have a flip through and there are loads of flip throughs on YouTube. Enchanted Earth by Malpomeni Chatsi Panagitu. All right, I say that so confidently, but I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it. All right, um, mythograph Joseph Kattenbang's Mythographic Magical Earth. Um, you'll have seen loads of flip throughs on uh, YouTube again, and a recent completed page from me in this book. I absolutely love this book. I love all the mythographics for some reason when I look at these books my it, I, I'm just you know I'm just my mouth just keeps dropping open I'm just so shocked at how amazing their artwork is their imagination is and I think in combination with the quality of these books and I just always have such a lovely time coloring in these books um especially now that the hidden objects are gone I still color the books with the hidden objects like I'll just cover up the hidden objects and get on with it but um it's nice not having them but um because they are annoying but um yeah I really like this page stunning books that's the one I have just done recently and shown in my um April completed pages absolutely love it loved coloring in it and I think I said in my completed pages it was like I was just pouring my heart into that page I just really really enjoyed colouring in it. I don't know why it is. I just, yeah, I'm just getting really drawn to the mythographics at the moment. Um, so this month for May, I don't think I have any in mind. Like I keep wanting to pull out a mythographic, but I'm like, I really need to colour other books. So um, as you guys can see, I have quite a few books already that are uncoloured. Have I showed you any? Yeah, I have. Um, so I do need to start colouring in all my books. So that's Joseph Kattenbang's mythographic magical earth and his new book is already out as well isn't it um aviary which i don't have yet and i think i don't even have fabiana atanasio's cosmics cosmic spirit or cosmic cosmic spirit i think it is and i'm, I'm also considering um alessandra fusi's second book i don't have a first one i don't think that's my style but her second one was has really some really nice pages in it so i'm considering that one i think that one's dream dream weaver and i'm really looking forward to the others that are coming out this year but um yeah so i don't have three mythographics so i am controlling myself but i absolutely love them at the moment they're some of my favorite books right now um, the next one you guys have seen um, 
it's Tatiana Bogamer's nice little tan Valentine's Day. I did get it for February colouring and I really did like the illustrations and I would colour it all year round. Yeah, the paper for me, Amazon, you guys have seen, I don't have that many Amazon books. I am trying to work in a couple, which I really, really like now because otherwise I miss out on artwork like this. Um, I really do like her Tatiana's art style. They are very cute and very fun to colour like the scenes and so innocent and yeah um happy and you know so i did buy this one um i have her i have only had two others of hers a uh, nice little time four and six very very early coloring in those books um from 2020 when i first started coloring um but yeah i just wish they were on better paper i know i can print it out guys i know lots of people say that but i don't have a decent printer i have an ink printer and i don't have the right paper that i enjoy yet and more than that i don't want to color on paper i want to color in books it just gives me a whole different feel when i'm coloring in books and i want to see the books eventually you know filling up with color and um, it makes a difference because i love flipping through the books and when i see my colored pages as i go along it's i just really like that so i do love coloring in books which is why i always say i avoid the amazon books majority of the times um but yeah all right the next one is again an amazon book but i did need to try this one out because the illustrations are absolutely stunning i don't have any of his books rj hampson's a frog's tail and I, I like his style. I've seen, um, is it Night Garden? And the other one, Forest Song. Those two I really liked as well. But I was avoiding getting them because I knew they were on Amazon paper. So I didn't bother buying them yet. Um, and then I saw him come out with this one. And the the art, um, the illustrations are just absolutely stunning. If I get, I, the other thing is I don't like double illustrations. I'm never going to color a page twice. Um, I'm just trying to get to the repeat okay here um i don't color pages twice so for me it's a waste i would rather he did one set of illustrations and um you know maybe got the better amazon quality books rather than he doesn't have to go for the amazing quality but at least the you know the one step up the premium amazon paper um i would prefer but i haven't yet colored in this one so all i i feel like all the amazon papers are a bit different like the nice little time valentine's day i feel is not as nice as this one in the matchstick mouse i don't know but um it's my own personal preference like i know some people love having doubles they like to color things twice see how they maybe progress if they color one now and one in a couple of years um but i think i have so many books i i wouldn't want to color a, a page twice not yet because i they i need to give love to all my books so i'm the kind of person when i've colored it i'm just like well that's how i saw that page i'm not going to see it a different way um so i wouldn't color it again most of the time um so that's why i don't even get double books and things like that as well doubles of books so yeah for me i don't need the doubles so i would have loved if he just had a bit better quality paper and just one set of the illustrations um but i know a lot of people will probably say otherwise um and a lot of people don't mind coloring on amazon paper everyone has different choices we all we're all different um but the work this the the art style is so stunning i couldn't avoid it so i just need to get coloring now and i've seen some amazing work in this book as well um so yeah I, I i do want to jump into this book hopefully soon but that's rj hampson's a frog's tail and then the last book i have is not amazon it's um coloring heaven and you guys will have seen this because i showed it in my giveaway video that i had bought two copies of this one for myself one for the winner and the winner has been picked as you guys know and the um gifts are on the way to her um but yeah so this I had to get again actually I'm not sure maybe one of you guys can tell me um it says here the reason I got this is because it says exclusive so to me I've never seen any of these illustrations they are new illustrations so it says new and exclusive to me exclusive means that only coloring heaven uh will have these illustrations but then like I noticed recently that um 
I've done a flip through, I think, on that giveaway video, so I'm not going to bother going through every single page. But um, yeah, I noticed recently that which book is it? Fledgling Fairies, Coloring Heaven, Fledgling Fairies is Christine Karen's book, um, or Christine Karen's illustrations for Coloring Heaven, and I think there were ten illustrations in there that were said to be new and exclusive but her new book i haven't got it yet but her new book um wildflower folk or something like that the new one which is not yet released here in the uk but i think it's released in australia um her illustrations on better quality paper i feel like i've seen in some of those flip throughs some of those illustrations that they said is exclusive so to me exclusive means that only coloring heaven will have those illustrations um so that's why I bought Fledging Fairies. I didn't realize that it would eventually come out in um, a Christine Karen book because otherwise I am not a fan of this new paper. Um, but I, I managed to color in it, but I would rather, obviously, again, better quality paper. Not that I can't color in this, so I will color in it. But um, yeah, if Kanuko Egusa comes out with another book uh, or a book with all of these illustrations, I'll be quite upset because... Um, I would rather just wait for that book, but I don't know. So I had to get it just in case because I knew this one will sell out and the illustrations are absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, I, I am happy I got it. Um, but I want to know, uh, what do you guys think? Does exclusive mean only for Colouring Heaven or am I making a mistake? Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's Colouring Heaven's Enchanted Animal Special. And if anyone knows if Kano Kuegusa is coming out with a new book, please let me know. I love her work. Um, so yeah, so that was that book. Now I'll go on to my Amazon Japan books. So from Amazon Japan, um, the, I don't buy from Amazon Japan that often. Maybe once a year, once, twice in a year, maybe. Um, actually, not even that often, but... When I do buy from them, I'll buy a few books at the same time because of the shipping cost. Now, what made me buy from Amazon Japan this, like in the last couple, last few months, um, was this book, Ken Matsuda's coloring book. Now, I had my eye on this book for absolutely ages and um, it's been out of stock forever, literally. Like I would probably be checking every day just to, you know, it was on my phone as one of my uh, browser pages open and I'll just go on there refresh see is it there no okay but for absolutely ages and if you guys watch my video um get me get to know me tag video I on that one it said what book would you like or something and I had mentioned Ken Masuda's because I've had my eye on it for ages and I couldn't it was never in stock um and suddenly one day I saw it on um Amazon Japan I was just casually again refreshing the browser link thinking okay is it there today and it was and I said okay since it's come back I'm not going to risk it going back out of stock for so long and so I decided to do an order and get this book and a a few others um, because I was buying this one um, so yeah I jumped on it straight away I'm like I, I can't be bothered to keep checking every day now so now I don't keep going on there and refreshing the back browser but absolutely stunning artwork isn't it um, and this book is not a new book um, again it's one of those books I didn't get straight away and then I was almost regretting it because I didn't know if it would ever come back I'm just trying to check when it was released if it's in English I don't see a year in English. No, okay, sorry. So I don't, I, I don't know when it was released, but it's it's been there for a, a long, long, long time. Um, and like I said, I don't get books straight away. And this is one of the books that I didn't get straight away. And I was actually beginning to think that it's probably never coming back. Um, just like, you know, books that go out of print. Um, so yeah. That makes, yeah, that reminds me just randomly. Again, I don't buy from Etsy. Um, I never have other than Clara Markova's books. But I just go on those stores and just look at the, you know, what, what what's there. Like, you know, Mariola's work and um, uh, who, who, uh, uh, Grazio Salvo and um, Karolina Kubikowska. And I, I noticed none of her 
printed books are on there? Does she just um, do a certain number of prints and then it goes? Is, is that the way she works with her books? Let me know um, because, yeah, I, I was just randomly looking, but I just wanted to know, like, is, is it just out of stock or does she just do a limited number of prints and once they're sold out, they're sold out? Um, it would be good to know. But yeah, I'm so happy to have this finally in my, I was just testing out my um, Tombos as usual and my Arbitures just to see how they worked. Tombos work wonderful. They blend nicely on this paper, but I don't know if this paper is the same as the actual colouring paper. Or maybe not. So I'll have to see. But yeah, beautiful book and that's what made me do. I blame this book for my Amazon Japan order. <laughs> um... And like I said, because I do that, then I have a wish list that I slowly buy things. So every now and then, if I do an Amazon Japan order, I'll buy like four books or so, four or five books. And so this book was, I had my eye on it again for a long, long time. Um, and this is a Japanese edition. This is Doming's Fairy Tale, I think, Fairy Tales book. Um, so the original one, is it Korean? And then this is an Amazon, I mean, a Japan version. I'm sure there's lots of flip throughs again. I did want this. I'm not so sure if I'll, I might use these pages for inspiration, but I might try not to copy it because it's not really my colours, style of colours, as you guys know. I'm quite, I go for quite bright colours, although it would be nice to learn how to do other colours, I don't know, so we'll see. But I think I might just use this as an inspiration, but then do my own thing but again as usual nice paper so yeah that is Doming's fairy tales book again let me know if anyone needs uh, flip throughs I'm sure it's on on YouTube already then the other one I got uh, is actually not I don't think this is a Japanese book it's on Amazon UK um, year of witches but I decided to try it out from Amazon Japan to see what the Amazon paper is from because it's an Amazon quality or paper printed book so this one says printed in Japan and I wanted to see whether it's going to be different it's still thin paper but it does feel a bit different in texture to the Amazon the UK printed Amazon books so I just wanted to test it out so I decided instead of um, getting it from Amazon UK I'll just try out since I was buying from Amazon Japan a few books I try it at that paper I think it might not be bad actually because I think is it pretty pages seven pretty pages 71 on YouTube um, and on Instagram I think I feel I remember a while back her mentioning the Amazon quality paper from Japan you can use watercolor a bit better now I don't do watercolor painting but I use watercolor pencils so I thought I would try it and yeah it did work okay so yeah I just need to try it I've not done a page yet so I'll know once I color um but it does feel a bit different it's still thin but it feels a bit different with the pencils uh year of witches by I, I, I'm assuming that's the artist Usiku all right so that was um I don't know where the artist is from because I know it was available in Amazon UK but I just wanted to try that Amazon Japan paper and then this one is this one called uh, rabbit's fairy tale or something like that if I'm not mistaken that's what it translates to um, not sure who the artist is but it's the same publishers as um, wild mouse yururi um, that wild mouse yururi book everyone is so familiar off now because it's a beautiful book <laughs> um, so yeah, nice quality again, as usual, sketchy style. Really cute. Um, yeah, different for me a little bit, I think, because again, there are not that many scenes. And there are a lot of pages like this, which is not usually my style of coloring, but it was so cute when I saw it on Amazon Japan. I had seen a few pages and I was like, yeah, that's worth trying. And it's the same publisher, so I knew the quality would be nice. Um, and I love these kind of the bottles and stuff like that. So it is really cute. I like that one. 
just haven't colored in it yet but i think my amazon japan order was literally just before i was actually quite annoyed my amazon japan order i decided to go for it because i i, I wasn't going to buy that much um you know uh, uh, like as you guys know i don't buy um that frequently I, I spread it all out and so i thought okay i'll buy amazon my books from amazon japan and then i'll hold off on buying books from amazon uk for a little while and um and then obviously i literally just maybe a few days after i placed this order from amazon japan book depository announced that they were going to close and i'm like oh great so now that means i'm going to need to do a book depository order um so yeah that's why i'm labeling book depository <laughs> because if i knew they were closing as well before i did my amazon japan order i would still actually i don't know if i would hold off on it if i saw that ken Matsuda's book was out but you know what i mean like i jumped on it because i knew i'm not gonna i had a few books sitting there and i got the ken Matsuda, but then the book depository order i would not have bought right now but because they said they're closing i had no choice sorry this is iwi's oh uh, world fairy tales i think it translates to um i still don't have all of her books i just buy like one at a time or something so this one is a fairy tales one i think i don't have the oh i won't remember the translation but the one with the myths i think so then her newest one um but this one is the world fairy tales book i like her style i still struggle to find my style of coloring in her style of uh, illustrations but her artwork is beautiful um so these are basically fairy tales from around the world. Hmm, three little pigs. That's cute. So yeah, again, you'll have seen flip throughs. Which one is that? The Wolf and the Seven Kids, I think. I'd forgotten a lot of these fairy tales until I started reading to my son recently. So I think that one is Elves and the Shoemaker. So he loves reading, so I'm now um refreshing my memory on all the fairy tales <laughs> so yeah cute book haven't started it yet so that's Erie's world fairy tales i think and then the last one i got from amazon japan is this one here which is secret invitation again i'd just seen it on amazon japan and maybe one flip through was out at that time was there a flip through out i can't even remember but I had seen a few of the pages as examples and I was like, okay, I might like that. And that's why I just bought it. Um, and I'm glad I did because it is quite a cute book. Um, and yeah, again, a little bit different to my style, but there is a lot of scenes which I really like in this book. So for example, that's quite a nice scene, isn't it? Okay, it's a double spread. Um, but yeah, the fact that there are you know landscapes and scenes and things like that i really liked that um about this book so yeah i got this book and i don't have to color the i know there's a lot of animals but i'll probably not color them realistic um so that will make it a little bit more relaxing to color because as you guys know i always say i find them quite fur quite challenging but yeah look at that that would look beautiful i love coloring leaves as you guys know um, so i'll enjoy coloring that but yeah, it's a cute book. So that is Secret Invitation. All right, and that's the Amazon Japan order done. And now just a few books from Book Depository. So for Book Depository, I usually get just my Korean illustrated books, I think, so far. I haven't got that many items from Book Depository previously. Um, how many books have I bought from there? Probably one two three yeah basically all of the ones i have so far in my collection it's probably like three or four um are korean books um and so that's what i usually get from them because the other books i just get from amazon uk i don't bother getting um you know like the hannah carlson um swedish editions and things like that that come out i just wait for the english editions um so yeah i am going to miss book depository but mainly for the korean books that i can't get anywhere else I, i'm sure they're available on etsy but they're probably double triple the price um because of shipping and things like that um so yeah i will miss them but i had a few books um in my wish list which i thought that i definitely did not want to miss out on 
and there were a few that I just said you know what I, I didn't want to buy so many books I hate buying so many books at one go because then they're just sitting there in my bookshelf uncolored like my uncolored pages has just increased in the last few months because of doing this Amazon Japan and so I now have 36 uncolored books um and a year ago when I started the channel I only had 10 um so it's just I I don't like having one. I want to color in my books basically um and so these particular books I had left on my wish list and said yeah I will get them I want them but I'll get them later like color a little bit more in the first April book that I bought um I've only done one page in that there's no need to get the other ones yet as long as they're not going to go out of print um but um yeah because the book depository was closing I decided to get um the other two April books um because I knew I'd want these books 100% um so yeah I got April's I think this is her second book the premium edition so an artist quality paper um which is absolutely stunning now I don't do watercolor painting yet I don't know if I want to keep it for that, but I have watercolour pencils and I like to use my watercolour pencils. I know how to use them and I'm hoping that this paper will be good for them. So maybe I will still colour in it with pencils and eventually if I ever learn, figure out my watercolour paints, maybe I'll try that out. But um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful artwork. So this is definitely something I wasn't going to miss out on and yeah, I wasn't going to pay double the price by just saying I want to wait being silly and saying I'll wait a little bit longer um so yeah I just got them um beautiful she doesn't do bright um colored work that often does she but I guess for her water scenes usually she does but in this book there's like more pinks and stuff compared to her first book um I really like it her artwork is just amazing so yeah, so I got this one and then I got her third one and I think that's the newest one, um, which is um, Moments Holy for Yourself. And again, very nice, but the paper is very different. Now, not just different to the premium edition because I know that one's like watercolor paper, but it's really smooth compared to the first book. Um, it's like as if there's no tooth to it. So hopefully my pencils work. You guys can let me know. Um, how you have worked I'm sure it's fine because loads of people color in them but um, yeah it would be nice to know um, if the smooth paper is good it feels really smooth at least she has um, she has got I think she has test yeah she has got test pages in the front in this book which is good I think her first book she doesn't have any test pages so at least this one does um, so I can test out my stuff before but yeah, beautiful, beautiful artwork. I absolutely love her style. And I, I know I always say I don't I, I don't um, gravitate towards portraits, but hers, she has a person in them, but then she has so much else. Like she has a scene, landscapes. She has lots of leaves and botanicals and in interiors. And it's so different. Like I, I don't mind coloring her, her young girl. <laughs> beautiful love it so that's moments holy for yourself i just yeah i had to buy it um i didn't want to miss out on it and um yeah i just got it earlier than i think i would have got it otherwise maybe i would have waited a good few months before getting it uh, getting those two so then the other one that i had on my wish list on um book depository is girls and flowers i think this is and i think there's a couple of other books for this particular illustrator I don't know who the illustrator is but I never seem to have found it on book depository so I only got this one I, I've seen the other ones on Etsy but like I said I shipping costs on Etsy are, are quite quite high understandably because shipping costs are expensive these days but um yeah it would have been nice if they had it on book depository again these are mainly portraits which is why I would have probably not bought this for quite a while like Again, it's not the style I gravitate towards, but because of the other that there are flowers and backgrounds to try out and stuff I can try and learn, um, I decided I'll get this one. Um, otherwise, I don't think I would get this one for a long, long, long time if it was if book depository was always there. It would sit there in my wish list for a while. 
I've seen um, Karen from Sukini Kitty, I think, do this page. And obviously, she's done an amazing job. Um, yeah, so it is a very pretty book. I think I'm not at the stage of doing portraits so much. So I would not normally have gone for this this soon. Um, I would have eventually gone for it. But um, it's a nice book. And I'm sure I'll colour in it. And I'm sure I'll eventually want the other books, but I don't know if I'll pay those shipping costs. But there we go. Nice book. Hardback as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention, even April's, um, this one, April's premium edition is hardback, yeah, which is nice. And then this is my last book for the haul um, from Book Depository. So I only bought four books from them. I had other books, uh, Momo Girls, I think, on the list. But again, those were portraits. And I'm like, I can't, I don't usually gravitate to them. I, 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 you know, it would be nice to have them in my collection, but I'm not going to colour in them for a good amount of time, which is why I've not bought them yet. So I just decided to let those go. So there were a few other books here and there that I just said, you know what? I think um, the other ones were, what, Gugeli? Gugel is it Gugeli? There were two books. Um, again, those were mainly portraits and stuff. So again, not my current um, picks for colouring. And so I just decided, okay, eventually if I ever want them, hopefully they'll be there somewhere, Etsy, somewhere <laughs> that I can get them. Um, probably have to pay a bit more, but that's fine. But this book, I decided to go for. Um, again, it's not a book I would have gone for now because I haven't yet started doing watercolour painting, but it is a watercolour painting book, but... I would say you can also use your watercolour pencils or just pencils, but the paper is amazing. And I liked the artwork. So it's not just portraits. Um, so you have some test pages. I'm sure there's flip throughs up, up on YouTube already. If you want me to do any again, like I said, for any of these books I've shown, just let me know. But just quickly, I'll show you. So you get your coloured page or the coloured version and then you can do you can do the same thing or you can do your own thing and you have something to write on the back if you want and then you have a second copy now like I said I don't like second copies however in this particular book with such nice quality paper uh, watercolor paper it feels like I think it will be a good thing for me because either one I can use to um try and learn how to use my watercolor paints and mix paints and things like that to try and get those shades um and the second thing is i could do my own version um so i, I have two two for that but also i was thinking i can use my watercolor pencils my albrecht Dura pencils but as watercolor pencils rather than the work i do now if i'm able to stop myself from going over the activated pencils with pencils dry but I try and use that a little bit more like they're supposed to be used, like watercolour pencils. And one page I can use for watercolour paints. So um, it's in this particular case, in my mind, I'm thinking it might be a good idea um, because such amazing quality paper. And um, yeah, I can learn how to use my pencils a bit more and hopefully learn how to use paints a bit. So yeah, beautiful book, beautiful quality. Um, again, I think I would have waited until I started to learn how to use watercolour paints before I bought this book. So it would have been a long time, probably not even this year, um, or maybe by the end of the year. But um, yeah, I decided that this book I wanted in my collection. Um, and I can use it because it has two pages. I can use it with my pencils for one, my Albert Dura watercolour pencils for one. And then the second copy I can save for when I'm ready to use for watercolour painting and learning how to paint. Um, so yeah, so that was the last book. Oh my goodness. This is not me. Um, there's a lot of books here. Um, but um, yeah, I am glad I got the books. But I'm not so glad that um, uh, I've got so many books at one go. Um, no, I, I'm happy I have them, yes. But like I said, I've gone from like 10 uncolored pages last year. I mean, uncolored books last year to like 36. That is just ridiculous. Um, and uh, I like to color in my books. And right now I just feel like with the amount of time I have, 
I'm not getting a chance to color in my books. Um, so yeah, usually I would have been a lot slower in buying, but there we go. It was a nice haul for you guys, isn't it? Um, so let me know if there's any books you would like to see as a flip through or what are your favorite books from any of the ones I've shown? I think I'm happy with pretty much all the purchases I've made because yeah, I do take my time in choosing which books I want to get. So I know I'll color in all of them. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to get started in them eventually. Um, do you guys have all these books? Are there any that you want in your collection? And what did you guys buy from Book Depository as a as a quick buy, just so that you could get your hands on it? Did any of you do quick buys so that um, you got your books before they closed down? Let me know in the comments below. Um, hopefully I'm not the only one. Um, so anyways, take care, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with you guys soon on my next one. So until then, take care. Thank you for watching and bye bye.